through the streets of Maiduguri in a military convoy. We're heading north towards one of the areas where the uh, Islamist militants had set up a base, we're told. Now, it's interesting here in Maiduguri, it's, it's quite rare we get a chance to see normal life going on. Uh, now the curfew is overnight, but during the daytime like now, you can see quite a lot of business going on. People are trying, obviously, to earn a living, and this whole conflict has been devastating for them over the past few years. And specifically at the beginning of this stage of the uh, military offensive, there was a 24-hour curfew in place, so it hit people very hard. But now you can see people going about their business. Furniture shops are open. There are people queuing outside banks, people selling food on the streets people trying to get on with their lives but in very difficult circumstances. We're also traveling through a lot of uh, military checkpoints. There are sandbags uh, set up uh, at the strategic locations and we're sort of slaloming our way through these military checkpoints. So uh, a lot of uh, uh, soldiers in my degree trying to lock it down and really ensure that the Islamist militants don't carry out any more attacks in this city.